1958, the President of the United States and Congress created the National Aeronautics Space Administration to help us explore outside of Earth's atmosphere. But what kind of strange projects have they been a part of, and what kind of things are they planning for the future? Today we're going to take a look at the craziest NASA projects. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. Now make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, or aliens might abduct you. Number 13, Touching the Sun. NASA seems to send their spacecraft pretty much everywhere they possibly can, but one major mission they haven't completed just yet was sending a probe to the sun. The main reason they didn't want to do it was because the sun's surface exceeds 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Eventually, the mission appeared to be possible due to some type of carbon heat resistant composite that should keep the cameras inside cool enough for the temperature not to break it. Since it was launched in 2018, it's been orbiting the sun and gained as close as 4 million miles. This is pretty close considering that Earth is about 93 million miles away from the sun. This is astonishingly 8 times as close to the sun as previous projects, making it quite unique. In October of 2018, it became the fastest moving spacecraft, moving at over 153,454 miles per hour. Some of the things they're trying to learn about include solar winds, which have been known to wreak havoc on Earth's electrical systems. Number 12. Nuclear Test on the Moon? The US government is no stranger to nuking things. It doesn't really matter if it's a tropical island in the Pacific, in our atmosphere, or even on our own home soil. So is it really far-fetched to believe that they possibly nuked the moon at some point in time or planned on doing it? Could that be why there's so many craters on the surface? What better way to show the Soviet Union who is boss other than nuking the moon, right? A writer who was creating a biography for astronomer Carl Sagan came across some unbelievable intel. Known as Project A119, there appeared to be a plan for the US to completely militarize the moon and even use it for nuclear weapons testing. This photo here shows the possible design of a spacecraft that would have nuked the moon. All these plans, however, were apparently never performed due to a test ban treaty in 1963. This treaty prevented the US and Soviet Union from using outer space for military operations. But could there be some kind of super weapon on the moon pointing at Earth? Some even claim that the moon was indeed nuked in order to kill some type of alien base up there. What do you believe? Number 11. Life on Pluto Many of us would immediately rule out any possibility of Pluto hosting any form of life at all due to the fact that it's so far away from the sun. But that was old news and Pluto is trying to prove us all wrong. NASA's new Horizon spacecraft got an up-close look and revealed that Pluto is making a comeback in interest among the scientific community. It revealed that there was actually ice mountains, smooth plains, methane dunes, an atmosphere, and most likely an underground ocean. Astrobiologist David Grinspoon clings on to hope and says that life on Pluto is possible, but right now it's speculative. The main problem with finding out what's going on there is the fact that it's so far away. Number 10. On Board Recycling NASA discoveries don't always come in the form of new planets or water in strange places, but occasionally, they'll make revolutionary discoveries to help astronauts survive in space. Advancements have been made to allow astronauts to actually drink their own pee, but of course, everything is filtered out. The agency came up with what's known as forward osmosis, which is the technology that allows this extreme form of recycling. Urine filters require tons of electricity to function, but in the end, it's one heck of a feat of engineering. It apparently still tastes kind of sugary and sweet, so drink up! Number 9. The Titan Mare Explorer Imagine if you had the chance to sail the seas on an entirely different planet. We've heard about Saturn's moon before, Titan, which has an ocean of liquid methane, and NASA was trying to find a way to get a boat on it. It would be a revolutionary seafaring expedition, which would also help conclude theories about there possibly being life there. However, the project was abandoned and would have cost about a half billion dollars to launch. What would they find there? The opportunity for a future launch looks shaky at best, but scientists are hoping to improve the various electrical components beforehand. The seas on Titan are like nothing we know of on Earth, and if alien life existed there, they would be shockingly different from humans. Number 8. The Lunar Walking Suit NASA spent a lot of time trying to prepare people for the lack of gravity that they were about to experience. One of the more interesting ways that they do this is by using what's known as a reduced gravity walking simulator. This is definitely one of the more interesting vintage photos in their archives. In this suit, they can measure the physiological effects of reduced gravity while walking, running, and jumping. But how the heck does this guy manage to walk on the side of a wall? Number 7. Asteroid Miners 
Asteroids, those things floating around in space for no good apparent reason, could turn into bugs for humans in the future. Many of these are found in our solar system and could also cause the destruction of Earth. But that doesn't mean they aren't extremely viable. There are many rare elements found in them such as platinum, gold, rhodium, and palladium. This would be a new type of gold rush since these metals are not only visually pleasing but also play an important role in filtering exhaust from automobiles. Also, deep space industries believe that asteroids can be turned into fueling areas for spaceships and people in the future. There's even some water on these things too. Private organizations considering this method of getting extremely rich include Kepler Energy, Space Engineering, and Planetary Resources, all privately owned. They estimate that one asteroid called Anteros could bring in $1.25 trillion in profit, but some estimate as much as $3 trillion. That's trillion with a T. This photo here shows an artist's illustration of what the operation might look like. It would also certainly be a complicated process and expensive one at that. Many companies and NASA believe that it will be a success in 2023. Number 6. NASA Funded Weather Balloons Weather balloons have been a convenient way for scientists to explore Antarctica. No need to trek through all the giant ice storms or get attacked by penguins. Scientists set up base at McMurdo Station and let off 18 weather balloons during Antarctica's summer in January 2016. These instruments give us a bird's eye view and help NASA study lost particles from radiation belts near the South Pole. This should help us better predict weather and further natural disasters. Or is that what they want us to think? They would also capture some cool photos. Number 5. DART Mission What if a massive asteroid was barreling towards Earth? Who would save us? Batman? Superman? Or NASA? NASA has worked on something known as Double Asteroid Redirection Test, whose goal would be to use kinetic energy to redirect that asteroid while in space before it causes the apocalypse. The DART mission was tested on a near-Earth asteroid known as Didymos. The asteroid is about 780 meters across and is about the same size of one that would certainly pose threats if it entered our atmosphere. It's almost like NASA was throwing a dart at an asteroid to see if they can change the path of the moonlet. Scientists believe that just a small collision can completely alter its path. This might be all we need if an asteroid was on a path of destruction. We won't know how well it works until sometime in September of 2022. Number 4. Water Bears in Space It almost sounds like some kind of horrifying sci-fi film, but it's all too real. Monkeys and dogs certainly aren't the only organisms sent into space. Besides cats and rabbits, scientists got together and sent an extremophile known as a tardigrade or water bear into space. What's interesting about this experiment is that it proves that some organisms are tough enough to survive the conditions of space naturally with no protection. They survive being heated up 300 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 323 degrees Fahrenheit on their mission to space. 68% of the tardigrades survive the unique conditions, which expose them to high levels of radiation too. This makes you wonder if these microorganisms are truly from outer space. Number 3. Hello from Earth Sometimes we send things into space in hope of communicating with other forms of life in the universe. Hello from Earth is an interstellar radio message that is sent using NASA's Deep Space Station. Will ET ever respond to our text messages? If possible inhabitants of Gliese 581D contain a radio receiver and an ability to read binary code, they'll get a series of text messages from Australia. This certainly isn't your average text message and it'll take 20 years to get there. Gliese 581 is the closest Earth-like planet that we know about, but maybe we should stay away? If there are other aliens in this universe, who knows how advanced they are, and hopefully they won't enslave us. Number 2. Europa Valkyrie Project As of right now, most of the water that we know about is in the form of ice on Jupiter's moon of Europa, so finding a liquid ocean can not only be a remarkable discovery, but also lead to us finding life outside of Earth. Imagine Europa's crust like a large sheet of ice over liquid water. NASA seems to have come up with a machine that will use nuclear power source to melt ice and find out the truth. The robot known as the Valkyrie is designed to pierce through the ice and get to the bottom while shooting out water from the top. Some believe the project will be ready to head to the icy moon sometime by the year 2022. It was actually tested out in Alaska and worked pretty well. Although more advancements are needed to actually explore this body of water, scientists seem to think that this is a possible place where bacterial life could thrive. And number 1. Fuelless Particle Accelerator Some people believe that NASA already has the technology to take ET home, and that NASA is really just a smokescreen for a much more advanced government agency. While others would argue that NASA doesn't have the technology to make it to the moon, whatever the case may be, some interesting articles have come out recently about an engine that uses a particle accelerator that can move up to 99% the speed of light. 
Its design is known as the helical engine, which would push a particle accelerator back and forth along a helix. The mass would increase forwards and decrease when it bounces backwards. The design comes from a NASA researcher, David Burns, who claims that it's definitely worth a shot, even if it doesn't work. Before a prototype gets constructed, David also noted that the engine would have to be 656 feet long by 39 feet wide in order for it to work. That would be about the size of the Plaza Hotel in Las Vegas going airborne. Not an easy task, but maybe someday. Whoa, now that was a cool video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.